Hey guys, it's your math tutor. Today I'm going to show you how to add three or more fractions with different denominators. Let's go. Say we have a problem where we're supposed to add these three fractions here, and they all have different denominators, which are these numbers on the bottom. We can't add these fractions how they are right now. We need to get all of these fractions to have the same denominator, and only then can we add the fractions. Our first step is to find a good denominator. We'll do this by finding the least common multiple of the denominators, which sounds fancy, but it's not too bad. In order to do that, we're going to take these three denominators and list their multiples. So for five, your multiples are five, 10, 15, 20, etc. These are multiples because five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15, five times four is 20, etc. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other denominators. So for four, your multiples are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, etc. And finally, our multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, etc. Okay, now to find the least common multiple, you need to find the lowest number that shows up in all three of these lists, which is 20 for our problem. That means 20 is the least common multiple, and it's going to be the new denominator for our three fractions. Now that we found our new denominator, our next step is to convert the numerators, which are the numbers on the top. So for our first fraction, we converted the denominator to 20, and we got this by multiplying the original denominator 5 times 4, which is 20. So since we multiplied the bottom by 4, as a rule, we need to multiply the top by 4 also, to keep it the same fraction. 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 is our new numerator, and we've converted our first fraction. Note that we haven't changed the fraction at all because two over five is the same thing as eight over 20. We just converted it. Now let's do the same thing for our next fraction. We converted the denominator to 20 by multiplying four times five. So let's multiply the top by five as well. So we'll get 15 over 20, which is our new fraction. Finally, let's do it for our last fraction. We converted the denominator to 20 by multiplying 2 times 10, which is 20. So let's also multiply the top by 10. And our new fraction is 10 over 20. Again, note that we haven't changed the problem at all. We just rewrote the fractions so they have the same denominator. Now that all of our fractions have the same denominator, we can do our last step and just add. So when we're adding fractions with the same denominator, we can copy over the denominator 20, then add the numerators. So eight plus 15 plus 10 is 33. This is our final answer. We got that these fractions added together is 33 over 20. If we want to convert it to a mixed number, 22 goes into 33 once, and we have 13 left over. That is our answer as a mixed number. In general, if you have three or four or five or 20 fractions with different denominators you need to add, this is the same exact process you'll do. You'll just have to find the least common multiple for all of the denominators, then convert the numerators of all the fractions and add them up. All right, thanks everyone for watching and hope this helped. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll see you guys in the next video.